I'm no expert, and I've never actually had bees go into a swarm trap and stay, but I'd say this looks like we've got a swarm. That's awesome. This is the second swarm this week that we have caught. If so, we just put a couple of drops of lemongrass inside and on the landing board and they love it. We do have a uh, drawn out comb in there and that does help a lot, I think. Last year we did it with just regular comb. This drawn out comb has made a big difference. Daddy, what are you bringing in the garden? Just some uh, vegetable starts for us. Yay! What'd you get me? Well, this is top chop collard greens. Ooh, I see Swiss chard. Mm -hmm. And this is collards? Yep. All right. Some lettuce. It looks like a butter crunch. Yeah. Some kale, my favorite. This is a red Russian. More collards. And some bok choy. Yeah, yeah, we definitely are catching a swarm here. Got some bees moving in. Taking good care of those plants, Liam. Good job. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. You gonna plant some plants? Yeah. Nice. What you got there? Some broccolini? Yeah. Yum. Morning and welcome to Wholesome Roots. We are just out here in the garden getting started on some late spring greens. What are you planting? Broccoli. Ooh, yummy. And my one is already growing. Yours is already growing? Yeah. Wow, you must like the good planting job you did. Good job. Where's, uh, I don't know who did put this in. Just walk down further. I've made holes all the way down. So I'm just going in between the garlic because the garlic will be in the garden beds until probably July, June maybe, if it needs to be harvested early. And these spring crops won't last quite that long, so it's the perfect way to use up some of the, the space in this bed so that we don't have to use up space in another bed. A great intercropping That's with the perfect permaculture good. methods. Yummy. It does look good and yummy. All right, cool boy. What are you planting now? Yeah. What? I'm planting beans. Not beans. Uh, peas. peas, yes. It's a little late in Georgia to be doing peas, but these seed packets were left outside, so they're a little damp. They were in a plastic bag, but the bag wasn't completely sealed. So we're going to go ahead and plant them all. And, uh,. We'll see if they do anything. I'm hoping that the other plants growing around them on the outside of the trellis will shade them enough that they will probably do something. Even if we only get pea shoots, it's still yummy. This one, it's in the tree. Oh, crud, it is. Yep. Good eye, Ryan. 
Alright, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> Time to get another box. Of course this would happen when I just said that we needed to do this box this weekend. We were going to add another box because they are full. It happened very fast <laughs> this spring. Ah! Well, if they're splitting or we catch the other swarm, either way we'll still have bees, right? Hopefully, maybe. That squirrel looks nervous. You see that squirrel in the tree, Ryan? <laughs> he, he looks nervous. <laughs> Okay, seconds later, the buzzing stopped. They all settled down. We still have bees going in and out of our hive box. And we still have a swarm up there and it looks like there is a swarm right beside it. Two swarms right next to each other in the same day. What are the odds? So Ryan's got his ladder, he's got his bee suit, he's got some boxes. It's kind of funny to me how often our gardening gets interrupted by bees. <laughs> We're getting staged here, so We've got an empty hive box on the left that we're going to put one of the swarms into. We've got another box here that we're going to put on that stand to put the other swarm into. And then that box that's really active that these swarms came from is going to get a medium, get, get a queen excluder and a medium box for building out the honey that they clearly so desperately want to do. It's just crazy. Dude. Two of them. One down, one to go. It's a lot of bees. We're getting pretty lucky this year catching the swarms. I never set out to be a bee swarm catcher, but luck has just come our way for that and seems to be working out. It's excellent. I see that. Where'd you find your shovel? It was just in the shed. I looked in there. I looked in there. It was easy. <laughs> Thank you. You boys are being great helpers. You know that, right? Yeah. You know the benefits of all this help? What are you going to get at the end of it? Money and food. Wait, 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 wait. What's the most important thing you're going to get out of it? Um, love, food. Food. That's the most important reason to do it, right? <laughs> hey, at least you're honest. Money, money. Money, money. Yep. I, I'm, I'm bribing the boys to help with the wheelbarrow shoveling so that we can clear another space for another bed here. You think you'll make $20? Let's see. <laughs> you're doing a great job so far. Yeah, baby. I love you. I love you too. Hard work pays off though, doesn't it? With not just money, but with food. And yes, love, Rowan, you're right. It definitely warms my heart and makes me wanna do nice things for you. Yeah, like money. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ryan's over there catching swarms. Money. And he's gonna get love and money for that. <laughs> well, money. he's gonna get money Ow. and love. Yeah, this is the real super professional way to plant potatoes. <laughs> I don't want to walk up there and get tools. I'm using my feet. So I've got my Mary's Heirloom Viking Purple, um, Yukon Gold, and something Fingerling, and then some store-bought ones that were sprouting. <laughs> Boys, did you plant a lot? Yeah. yeah. Did you move a lot of mulch? Yeah. Yeah. Good job. Thank you for helping. You're welcome. You're welcome. We certainly didn't get everything <laughs> planted and all the mulch moved, but we got so much done today. They have nearly cleared this path. I wanted to make a four foot wide bed along the back side of this trellis. And eventually all of this will be beds, but it's, you know, a lot of mulch to move. So, and planted some of the wet peas some of them were definitely rotting i haven't buried them yet but oh well we'll, we'll bury some of them will pop up i'm sure and because these beds already had garlic in them we went ahead and replaced the fall brassicas with some spring ones so broccolini some lettuce that's actually not a brassica but 
Um, yeah, I think it's a butter crunch. I'm not sure. And then I had some sweet onions I needed to plant. So I planted the sweet onions in these two beds. And they're not up yet. They'll, they'll come up in time. I didn't plant them all the way deep. But I did kind of on some of them. So we'll see. But we have the red Russian kale. My all-time favorite. Some bok choy. Some top-notch uh, collards and more bok choy and like I said these are all interplanted so there's onions in between every plant so this is a good companion system to do with the onions or garlic with your brassicas or greens and then in that garlic bed I have some Swiss chard from the fall that's doing really good we're actually going to harvest a bunch of that for dinner tonight and then I'm going to plant the rest of my baby Swiss chards in there all of this is going to be pulled and fed to the chickens. I hate to take it away from the bees, but I need that space for growing more stuff. And all of these beds are going to get a top off of compost. As you can tell, we topped off the compost on these as we went. These didn't get a top off because we didn't want to bury the garlic too deep. But that's the idea, is as we harvest stuff, we add more compost so that everything is well fertilized. And would you look at that comfrey? covered in blooms I just dug up a chunk of root last year from a friend and that is just doing excellent the chicks have upgraded to the outdoor brooder they are loving it out here we have three turkey that hatched and 18 American breasts the American breasts are available to be purchased but not the turkeys we're keeping them Who's got the prettiest cows in the whole wide world? You do, Titus. You do. What? Were you trying to get out, buddy? Hi, Trap. Oh, you're going to think I have a bottle, aren't you? <laughs> oh, look at you licking. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, my goodness. He wants it. Not time yet. Him's a good, good boy. I've been keeping an eye on his eye. It had a little little irritation from the trailer ride, but it seems to be clearing up. There's so much pollen right now, it's hard to tell. But he is filling out. Look at him. I swear he has gained at least two inches of height since he's been here. And he just loves us. Just in time for Daddy to feed Helms. So he's doing a really good job of eating his grain and his hay. And that's going to help him grow big and strong. He's still getting milk. He'll still be getting milk for probably at least another month. <laughs> he says, yeah. Yes, please. <laughs> that nummy. That nummy. Good boy. <laughs> the guineas and the drake just hang out we only have one drake and some roosters that free range the roosters aren't part of our breeding program they're just not they just weren't big enough to harvest when we harvested and that's our american breast tractor they are doing excellent you girls are ridiculous. <laughs> the ducks always go in their water. They don't just drink it. They go in it. They've had all kinds of garden goodies today to eat. They are loving it. Funny girls. What are you boys eating? That nummy hay. Is that good hay? Those are good boys. Piggies down there on cleanup duty. They make sure that nobody left any grain behind. Yum, yum, yum. Eat it all. While Khaleesi guards the babies while they nibble the last little bit that the mama's left them. <laughs> Silly goat. Have I mentioned how well my tomatoes germinated? <laughs> Thanks to Mary's heirloom seed. Awesome. We are just barely starting to harden them off 
They have just come out for a little bit while I'm out here and I have them in the shade. But little by little, they will transition outside. I really should pot them up, but I'm like, we're so close to planting temperatures that I feel like it would almost be a waste of time to move them into another pot when they're gonna be moving into the ground any day now. Last night was the last low temperature that I think we're going to see. The forecast for the rest of the month looks great. So we may be planting tomatoes next weekend. So yeah, I'd say catching a couple of new swarms and getting a lot of gardening done. I guess I could say it's another great day on the homestead. We'll see you next time on Wholesome Roots.